Okay, this video is about finding the angle of a vector. After adding two vectors that point up, down, left, or right together, you need to find the angle. Vectors communicate magnitude and direction, so the direction of the sum of vectors matters a lot for our math and for what we're trying to accomplish. Right now we're just adding simple vectors that point up, down, left, and right, and they form right triangles with their resultants. So we can use trig to find the angles of the vectors, because trigonometry helps us understand angles and their relationship to right triangles. So I'll show you an example of using trig on this first sum. I can see I have 10 to the right, 5 down, so I combine them tip to tail like this, draw that new connecting vector, and using the Pythagorean theorem, I see that it's 11.2. And I remember the convention for vectors is to try to find the angle between the vector and the horizontal line like this. So I'm trying to find that angle. And I remember there's a trig identity that says that if I'm trying to find the angle and I have the sides, I can plug the sides into this identity to find the angle. And that's an inverse trig function. Because I have all three sides, I can choose any inverse trig function I want. I'm gonna go with tan inverse, which is opposite over adjacent. And I can see my opposite side here is five, my adjacent is 10, so I plug that in, and if I put that into my calculator, I get 26.6 degrees. So that would be the angle of the vector, the sum of those two smaller vectors. So 10 to the right plus five down is equal to 11.2 at an angle of 26.6 degrees south of east. I can do the same thing with the four and the six, so I combine them tip to tail, draw that new connecting vector, Pythagorean theorem tells me it's 7.2, I wanna find the angle between the base and the horizontal like this, so plugging into my trig identity again, the opposite side is six and the adjacent is four, so I get an angle of 56.3 degrees north of west when I plug that into my calculator. These are four example problems that you can try if you'd like to pause the video. You can see here that I'm only giving you two out of three of the sides of each triangle. So to find the angle of the vector, you're going to have to decide which trig identity to use. So sine connects opposite and hypotenuse, cosine connects adjacent and hypotenuse, and tan connects opposite and adjacent. These are the answers when you plug them in. So if any of that didn't make sense to you, please feel free to pause the video and ask me about it in class. Here's a real world example of using vector angles to solve problems. You start swimming straight across a river at three meters per second, but the river's current pulls you downstream at five meters per second. What velocity do you have in total and what direction do you move in? So you're trying to swim across the river at three meters per second, but the current is working with you or it's pushing you five meters per second downstream like this. So we need to know what velocity do we have in total in the river and what direction do we move in? That's just code for what angle are you moving in the river? So adding these two vectors together, I can use the tip to tail method, connect that new total vector and I get 5.8 meters per second using the Pythagorean theorem. And when I solve for this angle, I get 59 degrees. So what this is saying is that if you're in a river and you're swimming at three meters per second straight across the river, but the river is pushing you five meters per second down the river, your actual true velocity will be 5.8 meters per second at an angle of 59 degrees from the real path that you wanna take straight across the river. So that's how you use trig to find the angles of vectors.